In this video, I am going to show you that how you can build a DIY Pi KVM at your home using a Raspberry Pi 4. So without further ado, let's get started. To build a Pi KVM, at first you need to have a Raspberry Pi 4 board. Here you can see I have the Raspberry Pi 4 board and this is the 4GB RAM variant. I am gonna use this Raspberry Pi 4 4GB variant as the main board for the Pi KVM. Then also you need to have an SD card at least 32 GB because we are going to flash the Pi KVM image into this SD card and boot our Raspberry Pi from this SD card. Then you need to have an SD card reader. Using this SD card reader, we are going to connect our micro SD card with our computer so that we can flash the Pi KVM image from our computer. Then you need a HDMI video capture card like this. This is an HDMI video capture USB dongle. Using this USB dongle, we are going to connect the HDMI cable with our computer to the Raspberry Pi so that we can use our Raspberry Pi as a Pi KVM and to capture the video output of our computer. And also if you don't want to use this USB HDMI capture card, you can use the CSI to HDMI adapter with your Raspberry Pi like this. And also you need a HDMI cable. So this is all are the equipment what you need to build a Pi KVM at your home using the Raspberry Pi. Now let me show you how to build it and what are the software you need to download to install Pi KVM on your Raspberry Pi. Now first of all open up your browser then search on Google Pi KVM download then go to this website pykvm.org slash download and from here you need to download this one HDMI to USB dongle this image because I'm going to use to HDMI to USB dongle to capture the video. If you use HDMI to CSI bridge you have to download this one and as I'm using the HDMI to USB dongle so I'm going to download this one and here you can see this is for Raspberry Pi 4. So you have to be sure about it. I had already downloaded it so I'm not going to download it again. Then take another tab and search for Raspberry Pi Imager. Then go to this website raspberrypi.com slash software. Then scroll down and from here download the Raspberry Pi Imager software installer on your computer. I have already downloaded this Raspberry Pi Imager software too. Now after downloading connect your micro SD card with your SD card reader. Then connect it with your computer. Okay, now go to your downloads folder. And here you will get the Pi KVM image and the Raspberry Pi Imager software. First of all, double click on this imager.txt file to install the Raspberry Pi Imager on your computer. Then just normally install it on your computer. Then run the Raspberry Pi Imager. So this is the Raspberry Pi Imager software. Now click on choose OS, scroll down and select use custom. Then select the Pi KVM image. Then click on open. Then click on choose storage. Select your micro SD card. Then click on write. Then yes. And it should start flashing this Pi KVM image into your SD card. It's gonna take some time. So you have to wait until the flashing has been completed. Okay guys. Now the flashing has been completed. Now you can close the Raspberry Pi Imager software. Now after that disconnect your micro SD card reader from your computer. Then again reconnect it. Then go to this PC and here we will get Pi boot partition. Now we have to make some changes into this configuration file so that our Raspberry Pi can automatically connect with our Wi-Fi access point while boot. So go into that partition and here you need to find a file called pyvm.txt. This one. Open this text file with notepad. Then below this line type this Wi-Fi underscore ESSID equal to your Wi-Fi access point name. In my case, SS Tech Tutorials. Then press enter and type here Wi-Fi underscore pass WD. Then equal to, then type your Wi-Fi credentials. Then go to file and save. Now you can close the notepad. Now disconnect your micro SD card reader from your computer. Then remove the micro SD card from the SD card reader and connect it with your Raspberry Pi 4. Now take your HDMI to USB video capture card and connect it on this USB 2.0 port down below of the Raspberry Pi on this port. Now you need to connect your HDMI cable to this video capture card. Then connect the other part of the HDMI with your computer. Now give power to Raspberry Pi 4. Now for the first time, your Pi KVM will take some time to boot completely. So wait at least 2 or 3 minutes. When the Raspberry Pi 4 or Pi KVM boots successfully, open up your browser, then go to your router admin panel to find the IP address of your Pi KVM. So I'm going to log in to my router admin panel and here you can see the Pi KVM is connected with my Wi-Fi and the IP address is 192.168.0.106. Now take another tab and navigate to this Raspberry Pi IP address. In my case 192 dot 168.0.106 then press enter if you will get this type of error click on advance 
then proceed to unsave and you will get the spy kvm login panel the default username is admin and the password is also admin then click on this login button and you will get access to your pi kvm now to see the screen of the computer where you connect your pi kvm hdmi click on this kvm and here you can see the display where you connect your pi kvm and now you can easily control your that computer using this pi kvm you can also use the keyboard and mouse from here to see the virtual keyboard click here click on show keyboard and here it is so guys like this you can easily build a pi kvm using the raspberry pi 4 at your home so guys that's all for today i hope you like this video if you really like this video and enjoy this video then please give it a big thumbs up and share this video with your friends and guys if you need to this channel then please do subscribe this youtube channel and don't forget to press the bell icon to get all the latest upcoming video tutorial notification i'm medhi shakil you're watching this tech tutorial and i'm signing out